Ah, that's always fun. Okay. Uh, and this was a doozy. Uh, Bill O'Reilly versus Jennifer Rubin. She's also conservative. She's a Washington Post columnist. Uh, but she is not a friend of Donald Trump, uh, doesn't believe in him. And so she's going to call out Bill O'Reilly on, on his own program. Drums. So Bill O'Reilly starts out all smug as usual, like, I brought on this person who was going to pretend to disagree with me, but in fact will agree, right? But it turns out it does No, I said, not going to agree. And then he gets cranky. This is fun. Let's watch. So thanks for coming on, but sure. you know you're entirely wrong about this. Your own newspaper posted a headline that said, the O'Reilly Trump interviews are the best Trump interviews. <laughs> Did you miss that? Did you miss it? No. I, my criticism is um, really that um, you actually are in the spin zone. Um, it's presented as a news program or a pseudo news program. And instead, it's a lot of parroting what Trump is saying to you. Give me uh, um, one example of how I've parroted Donald Trump. Sure. You've attacked the moderators in the other debates, calling how, how them the in. Yeah, Martha Raddatz and Anderson Cooper. You've also, well, for wait, example, wait, wait. How, taken how up. How did I attack Mr. Cooper in this round? You said the fix was in. Um, I have a whole list actually the here. Fix. Um, perhaps I can go through them all. Hmm. In the meeting, he's like, okay, here we go. Right? Then she says, uh, you parroted their opinions, you're in the spin zone. Oh, no. O'Reilly's whole thing is it's a no spin zone. Ooh, that's going to hurt the brand. That's going to leave a mark. And then she called them pseudo news. Not going to like that. So now they start to really mix it up. See, I mean, see what you're doing, Democrats. Bill, is you're taking up the argument of the candidate rather than acting as an independent person. Mm, that's not Once true. Again, if, if I see that two Democrats are sitting there, both who have been um, aggressive with Donald Trump, all right, and then you have a cl uh, candidate, Hillary Clinton, that's three against one. Right. It's a question of whether it's balanced. And unfortunately, over time, and like I said, I have a really long list of them, um, essentially you've kept up what the Trump campaign has been saying. You've made excuses for the locker up comment. You've pleaded with Ted Cruz I, that he's wait, really wait, wait, an wait. honest when, man. When did, I, when did I make excuses for lock her up? What, what did I exactly oh, say? Oh, um, let's see. Um, that would have been on, uh, let's see if I have the date exactly. It would have been on, lock her up would have been on. Oh, you got to come better than that, man. You can't come after Papa Bear and not know your facts. So it turns out she's right. I'm going to read you the quote that Bill O'Reilly said. But boy, did he catch her flat-footed. That's a classic O'Reilly move. Ask her a very specific question you might not be prepared to answer, and then go, ha-ha, got you, right? So now that he's got her, oh, he, he, now he's going to start to strut a little bit. Go ahead, Bill. You are ill-prepared for this interview, Ms. Rubin. No, I'm not. I have a whole list here. Ms. Rubin, um, I have just given you a minute where you've hemmed and hawed. You said, yes, I, said, okay. I, you said I justified a comment, lock her up. You can't point to it, and then you pivot to something else. Yes, you, you have. You are ill-prepared for this, and no, this is the point I want to make. Bill. This is the it's point I want to make. Your column and blog are fraud. <laughs> we have been tough on Trump here, and I'm going to roll some tape. No, it's not. Oh, oh, yeah? You play this little montage Listen to for this. all your guests. Listen it, it shows the this. three things that roll you said mean about him. Right. Uh, October, October 10th, you defend uh, Trump's promise to put Hillary in jail. October... Well, well uh, tell me how see. I did that, madam. You just can't throw out, what did I say? You said that it was a perfectly defensible position. You can go to your own No, class. I didn't. That's not true. I didn't yes, say it was a perfectly did. defensible position. Read, 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 read my Kalenheimer. comments. Do you have my comments there? Read them. I, I don't have them word for word, You're but I have the date. And I'll, you know what I'll do, Bill? I'll put them up at my website you, and people ahead. can judge and, and for You know themselves. how many people are going to come to your website? Zero. <laughs> I got to give him that one. It's funny. <laughs> okay. Now, he's not right, and he knows he's not right. That's why he doesn't say she's wrong. He says she's ill-prepared which is true. Now, if she were better prepared, she would have read this Bill O'Reilly quote. Number one, he has to play to a certain voter, all right? And this is in defense of, of Trump, exactly as Ruben suggested. Who does, believe, who does believe that Mrs. Clinton got away with national security violation that no one else would have gotten away with? Millions and millions of those voters out there. So yes, you're right. He can't put anybody in jail if he's president. You can't just uh, sign an executive order was it incarcerated? Hmm, that's a weird way of putting it. But certainly he would have the, have the power to have his Justice Department uh, to reopen an investigation that the government deemed to be not credible. He does have the power to do that. 
and I wasn't offended by that so much in the sense that I knew it was a quip off the top of his head, which, you know, and I think it helped him. I really believe that it helped him. Okay. So there is Bill O'Reilly basically saying, the locker up, number one, I'm excusing it because it's a quip. No, they were chanting that all the way back at the Republican convention. It's not like Donald Trump wasn't aware of that. They've been doing this for months, and then he said it in the middle of a debate. It wasn't a quip off the top of his head. It was something that was prepared in advance. Then he says, well, his voters want to hear that. Well, what kind of excuse is that? It's the wrong thing to say to lock up your political opponents in America, but hey, his barbaric voters want it, so come on, excuse him for it. And then thirdly, he says, well, I mean, I'm not saying he should lock her up, but I mean, you could reopen the investigation with your own Justice Department, even though the Justice Department already did an investigation and this would appear to be political, well, you could do it. So, I mean, he could lock her up. Yeah, Bill, that in its entirety seems to be a pretty solid defense of Donald Trump. Not solid as in that it's correct, solid as in that you definitely did it. So, Jennifer Rubin was right. Uh, Bill O'Reilly has largely parroted Donald Trump. And yes, he's tweaked him on a couple of pre selected clips, as she mentioned there, that we didn't run for you guys. But outside of that, he has largely agreed and agreed and excused and excused. And anyone who watches the O'Reilly factor knows that that's exactly what they've been spinning over there. And I agree with Bill O'Reilly, though, that she should have been better prepared. If you're going to come for the king, you better not miss. And in the Fox News world, Papa Bear is king. You want the same old mainstream media stuff? Hell no! I hear you, brother. That's why we got a whole new show on the Young Turks called Aggressive Progressive. Members get the whole show. Do it now. TYTnetwork.com slash join.